receives a constant barrage of negative international press. But despite the bad news, Damascus has become more popular than ever with a new breed of tourists. And these are the people who come to Damascus to learn Arabic. Worldwide interest in the Arabic language has attracted an influx of foreign students to Damascus. But how has this affected Syria's tourism industry and its image as a popular holiday destination in the heart of a turbulent Middle East? Welcome back to Ankara. Behind me is the Kochatepe Mosque. It took 20 years to build before being completed in 1987. Its neoclassical Ottoman style can be seen from nearly everywhere in central Ankara, and when it's prayer time, it can accommodate nearly 100,000 Muslim worshippers. And now, a look at the tourist sector in the United Arab Emirates. I caught up with the Turkish finance minister, Mehmet Şimşek, and asked him if that kind of growth can actually last. Turkey is capable of delivering about 5 to 7 percent real GDP growth over medium long term. Turkey seems to be edging east more and more these days in terms of business and economic links. For example, you recently signed an FTA with Jordan, Syria and Lebanon. Trade with Iran last year topped 10 billion dollars while trade with Iraq came close to 6 billion dollars. What effect do you think this will have on relations with Europe and the US? It, will, it should improve our relations with Europe and US because Turkey uh, if it is stronger in its region. Mr. Al-Masri, the Palestinian economy grew 7% last year, up from 5% in 2008. Talk to me about these figures. What do they mean for an area in conflict? Uh, a bit exaggerated because some of it is inflated because of uh, uh, false indications. A lot of this money is coming from donors. And now for some closer analysis on the situation in Lebanon, we're joined by the Lebanese political analyst, Hannah Ambad. Good evening. Good evening. Now, Hezbollah announced today the killing of 13 Israeli soldiers in Bin Jabal fighting. Do you think Israel was expecting such a high casualty rate? Around 100 people were on board having a party on this dial when suddenly their fate changed. An investigation is underway to find the 11 people that are still missing in these shallow waters. Spain is hoping that nearly five years of frozen relations with the US are going to change. You'll recall that in 2004, Zapatero, the current prime minister, abruptly pulled out Spanish troops from Iraq. A solo 40 días del gran acontecimiento, las obras se encuentran a un 99% finalizadas y las últimas visitas de los grandes personajes del Fórmula 1, como Bernie Acosta, y Ralph Schumacher han dado su visto bueno a las instalaciones y a la pista que augura ser uno de los más grandes desafíos para los participantes de la carrera. Desde Sahir, en el Reino de Bahrein, soy María Ramos.